Uh, yeah, please, no. Okay, I shouldn't have gone there. Please excuse me for how many garbled sentences there were in this video. This was not the only bunch of cocktails I made in this session. G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you've been keeping well. Let's talk about champagne cocktails for New Year's Eve. That's a thing people like to do. Some people just like to drink champagne, of course, but people are often looking for champagne cocktails. So I'm going to give you some ideas. And what I've tried to do is come up with some atypical ones, things you might not have heard of, things you might not be expecting that can broaden the spectrum of your New Year's Eve drinkies. And the first thing I'm going to say is uh, I'm kind of over champagne. I don't like champagne or even just sparkling wine, quite honestly. No harm if you do. I, I don't hold it against you if you do. But I also think champagne's overrated. I think wherever you are in the world, you could probably find a local sparkling wine that's at least as good as champagne's. I think champagne's coast on their name, quite honestly. But I don't even like sparkling wine, so I have scored... Uh, a special cider. It's got a cork and everything uh, for popping. Uh, this is uh, from Tasmania, Willie Smith. So I'm getting some Willie on. Uh, pff, yeah, please, no. Okay, I shouldn't have gone there. But uh, for bubbles, I'm not using champagne. I'm using cider. So my big thing is go with what you like. Don't let people push you around. But I'm going to make three champagne cocktails that have bases you might not have thought of just to give your New Year's Eve a bit of variety. The first cocktail is called a Carlton Banks and starts with cognac or a brandy. Go with the brandy of your choice, whether that be a cognac, an armagnac or from somewhere else in the world. Just a brandy that you like and we want to go with one ounce or 30 mils of brandy. To this we are going to add one ounce or 30 mils of a cherry liqueur or a cherry brandy. Something you have or you like, cherry hearing is a very popular one. I have this one from Croatia, it's quite nice. Uh, it's almost gone, I'll probably finish it off here. Don't worry, I've already bought a bottle to replace it. I'm not going to be without my cherry liqueur. Whatever you choose to go with, we're doing 30 mils or one ounce of cherry liqueur. Now we want to add some bitters. Feel free to get a bit creative here and use the bitters that you like. The recipe I found suggested two dashes of orange bitters, two dashes of Boca's bitters. I don't have Boca's, uh, I do have orange. I was thinking of going Angostura, but I think for the other one, I'm going to go with Peshaw's bitters. But again, be creative, use bitters you like, and, and two or three dashes of, you know, two different sorts of bitters. And let's throw that in there. Now we want to stir those ingredients on ice. I'm going to use this cast of Gaz Regan's Finger that my friend Nettie gave me for Christmas last year, but I will excuse you if you use a bar spoon or even an ordinary spoon from your kitchen. You want to stir that for about 20 or 30 seconds and then you're ready to add your bubbles. After stirring to get suitable chilling and dilution, we're going to strain that into a chilled cocktail glass. And the final touch is we are going to top that with some bubbles. That is our Carlton Banks. If you're feeling fancy, you could garnish that with a twist of orange peel. It has great, rich, fruity flavours and it gets lightened up by the bubbles. It's a great thing to see in the New Year's. Next up is a drink called the Barracuda. And if I wouldn't get pinged for copyright on YouTube, I'd be playing that great song from the 70s about now. This is a rum based drink. You want to use a white or a light gold rum, a lightly aged rum. I'm using this one from the Bricks Distillery in Sydney, which is really nice. But this has got a decent amount of rum, this drink. We're going to put in 45 mils or one and a half ounces of rum. Now we want to add about half an ounce, 15 mils of a vanilla liqueur. The recipe I found said to use Galliano. Uh, I don't have Galliano. I do have this from Spain, Liquor 43. This is a particular, particularly tasty drink and I like it more than Galliano. So I am going to add half an ounce, 15 mils of Liquor 43. The Barracuda is quite tropical for a bubbly drink and uh, now we get some pineapple juice. Look, freshly squeezed or pressed if you've got it. I'm going for freshly opened. We're going to do one and a half ounces or 45 mils of pineapple juice. We're also going to add some lime juice. I have some I squeezed earlier. 
I won't judge you if you're buying your lime juice from a store. I think people overstate their ability to tell the difference, but it is good to have fresh squeezed if you can. We want to add about a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils of lime juice. We add ice to our shaker, put it together, bang it in hard and give that a shake for 10 or 15 seconds. We strain that into a chilled coupe. Got a nice color there. Now we want to top this one with some bubbles. You can go super tropical with this if you want, even though it's like a champagne cocktail, you could go tiki with a slice of pineapple or some fronds. I'm just gonna give it a taste now. Oh, those tropical flavors with the zing from the bubbles. Really, this is a nice occasion drink. It is, this is a good one for New Year's Eve. My final champagne cocktail is inspired by a recipe I found called the Chin Chin. I say inspired by because I am off the hook with the free forming on this one. It isn't simply replacing champagne with cider. The base recipe for this was blended scotch whiskey with honey. It was stir some honey into some scotch whiskey and then add the bubbles to that. And I'm like, you know what? The only scotch I've got is a very smoky single malt. And I think that would be a bit off. I'm going to use an Australian whiskey and instead of honey, I'm going to blend it with Drambuie, which is a Scotch whiskey liqueur that has heather honey in it. So I think it's gonna be good. That's my theory, it's gonna be good. My version of Chin Chin is starting with one ounce of whiskey. The whiskey of your choice. Maybe you have a blended scotch. Maybe you wanna use a bourbon. I'm using an Australian whiskey, Starwood's Fortis, which is a 100 proof whiskey. Again, don't let rules hold you back, particularly on New Year's Eve. You should just be having fun, but I'm going with one ounce of whiskey. I will put the original recipe for a Chin Chin that I found in the description, but how I'm making it, rather than putting some honey in, I'm also going to add one ounce of Drambuie. 30 mils to one ounce of Drambuie. The recipe I found for a Chin Chin said to add half an ounce of apple juice, then top with bubbles, but because I'm using apple cider, I'm just going to top with apple cider. So I've added ice to the ingredients I have so far, put the shaker together, bang it in hard, shake that for 10 or 15 seconds. The final touch is to top that off with some bubbles. Here's the chin chin. Whiskey, honey, apples, bubbles. Let's try it out. It's a great combo. I may have totally made that up. I may have completely bastardized the recipe, but I'm happy with it turned out. So I'm saying, uh, please excuse me for how many garbled sentences there were in this video, this was not the only bunch of cocktails I made in this session. That's my excuse, but it's for New Year's Eve. So I'm just hoping if you're looking this up, some champagne cocktails for New Year's Eve, I've given you some fun ideas, some different ideas, something to add a bit of variety to your New Year's Eve. Whatever you are doing, whenever you're watching this, whatever drinks you're making, I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're looking after people around you as well. Until I see you again, I will say Happy New Year and cheers.